Hey guys, Wandering Shell here, and Ron and Will. And today we're gonna do Boxu. Boxu is a what is it? Is a subscription box. <laughs> Guys, we've had this box for almost six months now, and she's still trying to figure out what it is. Should I start over? No. Boxu is a monthly subscription. <laughs> That's what I just said. Where you get different snacks throughout uh, the month themed uh, for different locations in Japan or different events being hosted in Japan. Uh, these are all actually imports of snacks from Japan, so these are things you won't be able to find in the U.S. And every month they, like I said, have a theme. This is this month's theme. Yeah. It also comes with this handy dandy pamphlet of information on not only what we're going to be trying today, where it's coming from, but other little facts about the region, which Michelle is poorly displaying. <laughs> There's actually a huge section in the back on this one. Usually they only have like one little oh, wow. page or something. This is like four pages long. Yeah. So, uh, as usual, we're going to start with the tea that they provide each month. Uh, this month is... It's a green tea. A green tea. It's nine nine times out of ten, it is a green tea. Mm -hmm. It's Ashigara green tea. Ar okay. Aranomi Kuro Fuji. <coughs> I'm choking on my own spit. Uh, this green tea comes w from the Ashigara <laughs> district of Hokkaido. Uh, Hokkaido. Hok Hakano? Hokano? Hakano? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's very the, small. Oh. The plants grow slowly with less sunshine mm -hmm. than other tea types, mm -hmm. uh, producing fewer tannins. Uh, few, yeah, fewer tani uh, tannins? Tannins? Sure. And resulting in sweeter tea. Uh, when picked, Ashigara tea is also lightly steamed in a process called asumashi uh, that makes a light green, light colored aromatic tea. Uh, so it also gives you brewing instructions. This goes for 40 seconds in hot water. So, hey Google, set a 40 second timer. 40 seconds, starting now. By the way, if you want me to show your favorite memories on the screen whenever you're not interacting with me, just say, set up my photo frame. Thank okay, you. thank you, Google. Anyway, <laughs> our Google wanted to be involved today. Apparently. I lost our train of thought, so we've got 20 seconds left before the tea's done. Hey, Alexa, <laughs> set a 40 second timer. <laughs> For anybody who felt out, felt left out that didn't have Google, now your Alexa has a 40 second timer on it. You're welcome. She's not going to try the tea because it's too hot. We we get to get a second little oh. bag. We usually get two, one, one or two. Um, what so first? the way that this works is it's very Michelle. Goldy. Michelle will read whatever I grab. I'll grab this. Okay, well, there's about two other packages for it. So just in case. All right, so this is the next one we're opening. If you can read that, congratulations, you can read Japanese. <laughs> or it has translator on the thing. Oh, here you go. Potato snack, curry flavor. Not quite a chip. These crackers are potato-based, which we think makes them a perfect curier for their spicy and aromatic curry seasoning. Oh, that's all yours. After all, potatoes are an essential ingredient for Japanese curry. So it's a savory flavor, common allergies, is wheat and soy, no vegetables, and doesn't contain anything else. Oh, not good for vegetarians, sorry. It's a potato. 
It's a cracker. Don't worry, Michelle. You get one too. But it says it's spicy. You get one too. But it says it's spicy. You get one it's too. Ew. <laughs> it does have a little bit of a kick to it, but it, I'm. You can really taste the curry. Yeah. Powder. Yeah, you sure can. <laughs> Eat it. No. Eat it. No. Eat it. I just ate it. No, you didn't. Yes, it is, Don't see. <laughs> so it's it's right here. No, it's not. No. Nope. Nope. It's not. No, it's gonna go right into the tree. <laughs> Fine. I'll take a piece. Oh my god. I like it. It's, I don't. It's honestly, it's like a potato chip, just big. <laughs> yeah. It's got curry flavoring. I don't like it. Maybe a little cumin. All right. Go ahead and now the tea. Try your tea. In my cute little tanuki cup. Look how cute he is. So did the tanuki turn into a cup, or did you murder a tanuki and turn it into a cup? Both. He turned into a cup and then I killed him. How did you kill him while he's a cup? How do you kill a cup? I don't know, like chip. You can't kill chip. He obviously got a chip out of his skull and he's fine. This is going way too far <laughs> into trying to make logic. That's hot. It's like no flavor. <laughs> You know what it reminds me of? Tea. Yeah, it's very good. Congratulations. <laughs> no, like you go to like a buffet place and stuff and they're like, oh, I want hot tea. That's what it tastes like. That's kind of like all green tea that you get in America though. It yeah. all has that just like super generic, like, hey, we tried. Yeah, and that's what it tastes like to me. As, as Uncle Iroh would say, that's just hot leaf juice. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. All right, what's next? I don't know. Pick something. No, not that. This is the only one? Oh, uh, probably. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Because that is our ring cake. Uh, from obviously. It's Yokohama. Oh. It's, it's a Yokohama caramel ring cake. Ooh, caramel. This ring cake is soaked with a caramel sauce which mm. keeps it soft and sweet. To really amp up the caramel flavor, the caramel pot, uh, paste and caramel powder are used in the butter. Interesting. Um, it is obviously sweet, contains milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. It is okay for vegetarians and does not contain any additional... So I was reading on the bottom here. It goes, we have prepared a wonderful ring cake. It is more delicious when you eat it with your family. Please have a wonderful time. How cute. We have to eat it with family. So get, Speaking get, of family. I was going to say, go get the cat. I'm holding her right now. <laughs> if I let her go, she'll fall over. Oh, at least we have carpeting. Anyway. Oh, it's definitely moist. I didn't know there was such thing as caramel powder. Neither did I. Now I'm curious. Definitely smells caramelly. Oh, yeah. it, it honestly kind of reminds me of a, um, what is that? A pineapple upside down cake. Kind of tastes like one too. Minus the pineapple. That's the best part though. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just saying this what it reminds me of. I mean, this is, it's not bad. Mm. It, you can definitely taste the caramel in. Mm-hmm. Well, mm. if you like caramel, Excuse my reach. I grabbed this thing. Is there only one? No, there's another. And another. Hi, Storm. That's it. Wait. <laughs> Looks like a cheese thing. 
it says salty buttery salty butter and camembert cheese camembert salty butter cookie okay. with cheese flavor cream so that's just what he says salty butter <laughs> and cam cam camembert camembert cheese cookie Ew, that's a weird combination. Mm -hmm. While still on the sweet side, this sandwich cookie has a sharp flavor from the camembert filling and the salted butter used in the cookie that added a refreshing savoriness. It's a sweet flavor. Common allergies is milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. It's good for vegetarians and doesn't contain anything else. All right. I know you're probably not going to like this. Nope. So we'll only open one instead of two. It is a dense cookie. Holy cow. It was the cheese. I was going to say, you want to eat your half? Oh, I can smell the cheese and I don't like it. It's a very stinky cheese. I don't like it. <laughs> Take a drink. I, I had it before. I, mean, I don't like that. Why would you do that? It's okay. It, if you're not a fan of that cheese. Which I'm not. You won't like it. Like, I don't really care either way. Nice. I like cheese. I like cheese. But it's um, very strong. Yes, it is. I don't think I've ever had camembert. I don't think so either. This is only the one. Yes, because that is a Hakan no Kirikabu, also known as the chocolate leaf pie. It does look like a leaf. That's cute. Leaf it alone. Ah. This cute and tasty treat is a popular Miyogai Gashi souvenir snack from Hakan. The unique shape of this pie reminds us of snow-covered leaves with its super frosted flaky pie dough and inside is a rich and sweet layer of chocolate. It is sweet, it's good for vegetarians, contains milk, eggs, wheat, and soy, but nothing else. And I really need a drink because it like, the one thing with the camembert, it really gets your um, saliva glands going. So I'm like, I better, uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. That is not as soft as I thought it was going to be. I know, be. it just snapped. <laughs> Oops, uh, here you go. Thanks. So I thought it was going to be like a, a soft, soft cookie. cookie. Nope. It, no, it, it's like a cracker break. Like, I know my hands are in the way, but you can hear that crack. Ready? Very flaky. I mean, it's pie crust. I don't know. It's. I have no flavor. It's there. It reminds me of those tin cookies mm. that you get like at Christmas usually. Mm -hmm. Um, just a little chocolate filling. But I think that's just because of the big uh, sugar f sugar flakes that they have on top. Mm. Mm. It's okay. After going with the camembert, <laughs> it's got no flavor in comparison. I know. Not to say it doesn't have flavor, I'm just saying that it's less powerful. This is something I know Michelle's not going to be happy with. It's a gummy. Hold on, I gotta take a drink. Oh, this, this has a QR code on the side for more information. Oh, cute. Pure gummy pate, lemon flavor. These sweethearts 
start off with a sour punch. Sure, it might feel like you just bit into a lemon, but don't let those first sour moments scare you away since the flavor mellows into a lovely and sweet lemonade taste. So it's a sweet flavor, not good for vegetarians, no common allergies, and doesn't contain anything else. I would like a gummy, Hold please. On. I want a gummy, please. Gummy. Got it. Gummy. Gummy. They're shaped like little hearts. Hi, Storm. You don't see her yet. Oh, yeah, you can see the heart. Little heart. Oh, okay, but the heart. Is. Not bad. No. We weren't kidding about the uh, first bite. They're kind of equivalent to like the Sour Patch Kids. A little bit stronger though. Yes. Like, like you, they start off sour and then they like well, mellow out. Like you never had Warheads growing up because you don't like sour things, right? I had Warheads. Like it, the initial punch of these is definitely equivalent to like a the warhead, warhead. Yeah. But it it dissipates like that. Yeah, it takes it a second. It's not bad though. No. I I can get more of those. Good thing because we have another whole container. Wait, you ate the whole of what's in there? No, there's two left. Oh, can I have another one? I just want to try. <laughs> Stormy sitting on the other side of the camera, making sure we're doing everything proper. Uh, I can't even break it apart where we could share this. Uh, just enjoy it. We have another thing with it. Ready? Mm hmm. It's your pick. I know. Guess this one? That's a mini baked cheesecake. All yours. Nope. No, I don't like cheesecake. Actually, no, it's not. Yeah, I don't it is. Think, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's only one of them. Okay. No, that's fine. I just, the, I see this and it kind of looks like that broken apart. Yeah, but it's not. Also, the picture that they have for this shows this tiny little sample size like this big. And then you have this big. It's like double the size. I mean, this is good to share, that's for sure. But let me ask you, who can say no to a bite-sized cheesecake? I can. No. Not anybody, including us. No. This delightful cake has a layer of cheesy cream yeah. made with rice, uh, camembert. Rich. Not rice, rich. Made with white white rice camembert. Rich. Between two flaky. Fluffy. Cheesecake layers. And it's rich, moist, and everything cheesecake should be. The, all yours. It is sweet. It is good for vegetarians. It does contain a little bit of alcohol. But it is also containing milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. And Michelle is going to try some. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, I'm not. My I'm tongue not. feels a little numb from the... Uh, <laughs> Your tongue is numb. <laughs> like, oh, like it almost is, it's almost as bad as the... Um, the fuzzy tauntaun. The fuzzy tauntaun. But not quite there. It's like if you had a few more, you probably would have if it. If I ate the other pack. Yeah. Yeah. My tongue... My tongue is numb. Okay. Are you sure this is it? Because that does not look like the picture. No, that's the thing. That does not look oh. like layers. Wait, no, that's not it then. Hold on. Oh, here it is. It's actually... <laughs> the golden fancier cake. Mm -hmm. Fancier is a classic French cake made with almond flour and usually baked in a small mold and flavored with brewery, basically brown butter. This beautiful cake opens with a light, moist texture and finishes with a smooth, buttery taste. It's a sweet flavor. Common allergies is milk, eggs, tree nuts, and wheat. It's good for vegetarians and doesn't contain anything else. Yeah, because it has almonds. Yeah. That's the tree nut. Yeah, tree nut. 
coming from the girl who insisted this was cheesecake. It looked like cheesecake. The I other... like cheesecake. I know cheesecake. This ain't cheesecake. How many times are you going to say cheesecake? It is definitely moister than I was expecting. Yeah. A lot of the um, baked goods that they give us. Very moist. Actually, no. They're usually very dry, remember? Hmm. At least the last batch was. This one, even the um, the donut. It's not a donut. It's a ring cake. But the donut is um, was moist. But usually it's very dry. Hmm. Okay. Want to try again? You mean, do I want to pick one for a change? Instead of being given the bad information? Those are those. No, this is the cheesecake. No, it's not. Honestly, I don't even know where it is in here. I don't know. It's we'll somewhere. find it. All right. I think it got stuck in the back of my mouth. We got the Yokohama Basha Michi Melefilil Lemon. Melefilil Lemon. My tongue. <laughs> My tongue is now. Uh, Basha Machi is a famous Yokohama street known for its heavy Western influence. As one of the first international Japanese ports, <laughs> this Western style confection has layers of flaky pastry and a creamy lemon filling. What are you laughing about? Over so, here? I don't know why, and I'm used, I guess it's just because I. So many Japanese treats usually have a window in the front showing you. Oh. I thought that it was a window. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> anyway, go, go ahead and finish. It's a sweet flavor. Common allergies is milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. It's good for vegetarians, and there's nothing else. Okay. So this kind of reminds me of Le Napoleon. Okay. Have you ever had a Napoleon? The pastry? Oh, uh, I was going to say the ice cream? Yeah, I've had the ice cream. Honestly, I thought you were going to go with... No, I never met Napoleon Bonaparte. That's before my time. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> hey, Will. I think their jokes are a little short. Like Napoleon, remember him? <laughs> Eat the cookie. Oh, that is flaky. Mm -hmm. Good flaky, bad flaky. I oh, can actually take it apart and just share. It's okay. Oh, there's a lemon. <laughs> well, I don't like it. It's very subtle. <laughs> All right, your turn to grab. That was like, it was just kind of like, Creamy, and then all of a sudden it hit with lemon. Oh, here's the one that we were talking about. Those are the cheesecake. Are we sure? It says cheesecake. That's all yours. Okay, we're not going to read the in information again because... Cheesecake. It's the same as five seconds ago when we read it earlier. So there it is. It's a little cheesecake. What's with your it's voice? It's looking very tasty. Little cheese, little cake. Does it smell? Yeah, it actually has a weird smell to it. It could be the cheese. Mm -hmm. try mm -mm. Just try it. I don't want, I don't like cheesecake. It doesn't matter, you have to try it, it's boxu. That's nice, you can have it. You have to try no. it. No. Why? I said so. Eat it. <laughs> I have three of them. I can hold three of them up to your mouth till you try no, one. I don't want. Just try a bite. Ugh. It it smells it smells like the common uh, the camembert. 
Yeah, Again. I don't like it. Mm. Okay. Mm. Well, you enjoy the other two then. It's not as good as regular cheesecake. We'll go with these. I think I know what these are because I think We've had Disney them sells these. Okay. Just not this brand. I was going to say we had them before, I think. The Shonan Golden Gummy. Shonan Gold is a unique citrus fruit from Kan... Kanagawa Prefecture, known for its bright golden color and sweet, juicy flavor. These chewy gum candies feature a juicy jelly center for superior flavor. It's a sweet flavor, not good for vegetarians, no common allergies, and doesn't contain anything else. Okay, interesting. I was expecting, so they have these... Where's the jelly part? That That's what I was expecting, was like an insert of like a jelly it or says something. Juice, juicy jelly center. Where's the jelly part? Oh, it's there. That's interesting. Huh. So. Oh, it is there. So you can't tell because, I guess it's because it's yellow on yellow, but the top area here is actually a jelly. Where the bottom is of a, a gummy. Um, gummy. Not as lemony I thought it was gonna be. No. I mean, it it has that what what we would usually describe as artificial lemon flavor. Yeah. Katag potato, savory garlic. Oh no! <laughs> Vampires beware! Garlic lovers rejoice. These crunchy chips are for you. Kataga is a line of Kalbi potato chips known for their extra crunchy texture. For a truly garlicky flavor, these chips are seasoned with garlic powder and fried garlic powder. Oh my goodness, enough garlic in it? I mean, it could be worse. Mm, it, it could, could be garlic, be garlic chips. <laughs> chips. Uh, flavor is savory. It's okay for vegetarians. Contains milk and soy, but nothing else. All right. Well, we better not be kissing it, each other anytime soon. I was planning on making out with the cat, but okay. <laughs> Stormy doesn't care. She smells like fish half the time anyway. Definitely garlic. Why would you do that? Still very garlic. I wonder why. It's almost like it's garlic potato chips. Guys, this is so garlic. Yeah, that is like overpowering amounts of garlic. It's like I literally just took a bowl of garlic and get into it. I was going to say. There's if, no other flavors. So, we've done this before where we've roasted garlic with our whatever we're cooking. Yes. You know, we'll slice it up and it has the exact same flavor. So, raw garlic is a little bit more like... Raw raw and it doesn't have but this has like that punch of like cooked yeah on top of it Ugh. so too much that's very strong yes it is so we're going for something that probably has almost no flavor in comparison <laughs> holy oh crap you better not be kissing anytime <laughs> soon <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow you even had to take a drink. That's not a good because thing. Because it's bu it builds. Like, yeah, I know. It just does it's not just stop. There. If you don't have something to drink to neutralize that, all you get is garlic. So you're going to bring that to work, right? Holy crap. <laughs> what does it matter? We all wear masks. You're going to be uh, to yourself the whole entire time. You're like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? We're almost done, guys. Yokohama sesame oil okaki rice crackers. These rice crackers don't play around when it comes to sesame. Each crunchy cracker is coated with bold soy sauce, especially brewed for Minoya Arar and Iwa, Iwi, Iwa, no Goma, something or other. Specialty sesame oil 
that has just a hint of heat from the added chilies. So it's a savory flavor. Common allergies is wheat and soy. Good for vegetarians and doesn't contain anything else. I feel like we've had these Smell before. Smell that. Oh, no, thank you. No. No. Mm. I don't like it. Oh, well, yeah, because it has spice to it. <sighs> yeah, it does. Oh. It just hit me. I was waiting for it to hit, too. I'm like, okay. It's got a punch. Here, this will help. Oh, God, no, not that. <laughs> Anything but that. <laughs> Give me the gummies. Okay, here, hold on. No, ew, hell no. No. I don't know what this is. Put it away from me. <laughs> it's a cracker you didn't finish earlier. That definitely has a nice hit of spice. You can enjoy it. It's stronger than these guys. The curry ones? Mm-hmm. We have one more. I know. This was still open, so I wanted to finish it. Mm. Um, this is going to be interesting. This looks like something I actually won't like. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. It's in two packs. What? This is called a uh, Neuer Black Cocoa Stick. Do you have your phone? I do. Give me your phone. Why? Okay. Kagabu Hojichi. All right, well, hold on. You got that. Okay. Have you heard of a Kagabu Hojichi? It's a special type of roasted green tea from the Kaga region of Japan made with the stems, not the leaves of the tea plant. It gives the chocolate uh, filling of these rich biscuits a nutty aroma that makes them utterly delicious. It's got a sweet flavor. It's good for vegetarians, contains milk, eggs, wheat, and soy, but nothing else. There was a lot of baked goods this week, mm -hmm. this month. I don't know what she's doing. Okay, okay. I still don't know what she's doing, guys. Give me your phone. Why? Give me the phone. Here. You guys can't even see what she's doing, so... I'm doing what the picture shows me doing. Here, I'm gonna bring you guys around here so you can see whatever the hell she's doing. Look, this is what the picture said to do. Okay, why? Because <laughs> you can browse on your phone and take a treat. You can browse on your phone and take a treat. Let's just finish this, please. Doesn't have a treat. I'm already predicting a, this is going to be my least favorite. Does it? Oh, yeah. You know what this reminds me of? Those, the chocolate straw thingies? Mm-hmm. Yeah, not that good. It's... The chocolate is very overpowering in this. Mmm. I... I can't say I don't like it, but I can't say I do like it. You know? Mmm. <laughs> That's the way she eats Pocky as well, guys. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> um... Yeah, not a fan. No. I, like, I'm not disgusted by it, but... I need something to get rid of that flavor. <laughs> Add some garlic. <laughs> oh. All right. 
And on that note, that's it. That's everything. Why did I do that? That's so strong. You, congratulations. Oh, God. Congratulations. Hey, well, we don't have any more to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was bad. Are you better now? No, that didn't really help. <laughs> so that was a lemon garlic flavor? <laughs> After this, I'll get you water. We're almost done. All right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys, and that was Boxu. That was this month's Boxu for the golden something because I didn't get to finish reading it. Kanagawa. Kanagawa? Kanagawa. Kanagawa. And then next month, they have on the back for next month a haiku in the back. And it is. Cold hands and warm hearts beating Doki Doki when our Baksu arrives. Doki Doki Literature Club? Oh god, it's gonna be a horror, a horror <laughs> Baksu. The horror! The horror! The horror! No. Wait, that's the wrong word. Anyway, guys, I guess, um. Oh, before we go, number one and, and number <laughs> last. <laughs> number one and number last. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know how many there were, so I didn't... I didn't I, count. What was your favorite and least favorite? Uh, you had a know. lot of least favorites. I was going to say, I you think... You always have a lot of least favorites. I know. I think it's stuck between, honestly, the thing we just... The... This, the... The yeah. Noir Black Cocoa Sticks. Yeah. And the gummy lemons. For your favorite? Yeah. I'm stuck between those. Because the sticks weren't terrible. You know. I would say these are my least favorite. The sticks? The sticks. I don't like them. I'm not a huge fan of sweet stuff to begin with. Right. And those are just pure chocolate. Like, yeah. I don't do chocolate. With a hint of tea. It was like a very hint of tea. Okay. And your least favorite? Hello. Uh, my favorite, oh, that's a hard one. You had a lot of ones that you liked. I think I'm going to go with the first ones we had. These. The curry? Yeah, just because, like, they didn't really have much of a spice, but they had just, like, the right amount of seasoning and everything else. It had a little bit of a kick, but it was not, like, an over, holy crap. Kick. Right, it wasn't like these that hit really hard. Right. And it wasn't like these, which made you regret, regret opening them. Mm -hmm. And everything else was super freaking sweet this this month. And yeah. I'm not a huge sweet person. Even the tea had a little bit of a sweetness to it. Um, these weren't bad either. The I gummies? The, the gummies. These. Yeah. I like these over the, that one. Over over the these ones? Yeah, because these had at least a sour punch to them, where those just tasted like lemon. It almost tasted oh, like... the um, artificial lemons. Yeah, it almost tasted like... Uh, cleaner you know oh. how like you can they have that super strong lemon smell to the point yeah. where you can taste it yeah mm -hmm. that's what those reminded me of hmm. all right guys uh i guess that's it we made a mess yes we did you're cleaning it up coming from the girl who refuses to eat the cheesecake i don't like cheesecake anyway uh if you got this month's or well last month's boxu uh let us know what your favorite is uh, um, otherwise, see you thanks next for time. watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Later.